Coach Brad here, back with another video about FTC intakes for your robot. Today, we're talking all about compliant wheel mechanisms. I'm gonna show you another way that you can use a compliant wheel to be able to pick up a different object. I'd encourage you to think of this video as a seed idea. It's not a completely finished idea, but it is a little starting idea that'll help you grow into a fully fledged uh, intake. This intake is inspired by robotic vacuums of all things. So <clears throat> on the inside here, what I've got is I've got two spinning wheel sections that are spinning opposing each other. And the idea is it's going to be able to suck up objects into the middle. I've got a sample from the 2024, 25 uh, into the deep FTC season here. And this actually works pretty well, even as a passive intake, if you were to add just a little bit of resistance to this, because what I can do is I can come down, pop on top and uh, they stick pretty well. If I were to shake this thing, it's likely not coming out. How this intake works is you've got one servo motor up here attached to a simple servo horn with an axle. You have two compliant wheels. These are just the Go Build a Gecko wheel that has had their edge cut off. On the other side is the same deal, but the edge is just being cut off in a slightly different uh, pattern. This is connected to a sprocket over here. There's a chain drive to another sprocket, which then connects to just a simple spur gear section here. The reason we've got these gears, of course, is to change the direction, because if these both of these wheels were going the same direction, it's obviously not gonna be able to pick an object up. So you can see just how well this works even passively, but let's get some power on this thing. Servos one direction, picks it up, stop it, and then spit them out. And it actually can spit it out with quite a bit of force. Let's see how far we can make that go. So, not too bad. If I were to make some changes, this didn't take, it's quite bulky at the moment. Um, you could probably even get away with just using one half of this uh, if you wanted to. You would probably also make your uh, wheels the same. But again, remember, this is just a seed prototype idea. It's not a complete idea, but it does kind of get you started with thinking about how you might go about picking up different objects in an FTC way using compliant wheels. I hope that helped you out and best of luck on your next robotics project.